also Piccolo Junior, Ma Junior, whatever you wanna call him. This giant form transforming unit, whatever you wanna call this unit. Who are the top five units on this guy's team? That's exactly what we're gonna discuss. Is Piccolo Junior number one on his own team? Is he even close to number one? Let's talk about it. And coming in at number one is not Piccolo Junior, surprisingly. Well, not really that surprising. But number one is Orange Piccolo. Now you guys know how busted this guy is. The level of defense that he can get up to, like after he's built up easily over a million defense, with that damage reduction, with the potential healing, with the leader skill, with just the sheer defense, the sheer offense, the numbers that he puts up on top of all of that, arguably still the best active skill in the entire game. He's on a lot of teams, good stats, just a phenomenal overall unit. What are his stats? 17.4k defense? Okay then? Bloody hell, a lot of these units nowadays have really high stats. Like his attack star isn't tremendously high, but his defense star is extremely high. Like this guy has got good stats, but overall he is easily, well, Actually, no, he is easily the best unit on this team. And then you can even make the argument that he's the best unit in the game. I'm not saying I'm making that argument, but I've seen other people make that argument. That this guy is not only the best unit on Piccolo Jr.'s team, but he's also the best unit in the game, period. Now, personally, I could see it either way. I would probably lean more towards the GT duo. But if you want to argue this unit as the best in the game, I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong because I could see it either way. So Orange Piccolo is number one. And then number two on Piccolo Jr.'s team is Piccolo Jr. himself. Piccolo Jr. is... He's a lot better than I thought at first. Like, I knew he was good. I knew he was good from the get-go. Like, I knew he'd be good just based on the sheer numbers. But he's not just good. Like, he is great. He is phenomenal. The Truth DT personally has gone as far as to say that this guy along with Te Goku are in a tier above all the other TURs. So what he's saying is not only is Piccolo Jr. and Goku, not only are they better than God Goku and the rest, they are a tier above them. Now I wouldn't go as far as to say he's a tier above God Goku, but I definitely do think he's better than God Goku, but like God Goku's in that same tier. Now you guys might be thinking, but in the last video, like in one of the last videos, you were saying that God Goku's better than Piccolo Jr. And that's what I thought at first, but I've changed my mind. After watching some more gameplay, I do think he's slightly better than God Goku. Now, with that said, that takes nothing away from God Goku. God Goku is phenomenal with the dodge, with the guard, with the additional supers, the level of defense, the offense, the leader skill, the link set. That is the thing, actually. With God Goku, the one thing that he's got that Piccolo Jr. doesn't is probably the best leader skill in the game. But not only that, he also has a much better link set. So God Goku certainly has his place in the game without a shadow of a doubt. He is a phenomenal unit. Not only is his link set better than Piccolo Jr.'s, his link set and his leader skill is even superior to the Goku's. So he does have something to offer. And don't forget the guard and the orb changing. God Goku is phenomenal. But personally, I've got Piccolo Jr. above him. But obviously, God Goku's not going to be in this video because he's not on Piccolo Jr.'s team. So I don't even know why I'm having that discussion. So Piccolo Jr. is definitely number two on this team. Absurd levels of defense. Absurd levels of offense. The active skill. He's like the best unit for SPR. The best unit for the world tournament. He's got a fairly decent leader skill like i've seen some people criticizing his leader skill but his leader skill is not bad whatsoever could it have been better yes if i could make one change with this piccolo jr it wouldn't be the leader skill my change would be the link set i'm not a fan of the link set um he doesn't really link well with namekians i think the truth said it best get rid of tough as nails and give him like a namekian link for example a namekian i think i'd like him a lot better but as it is, he still is a phenomenal unit, and he will be really good for some time to come. And I do think him and Goku are the best TURs in the game, although God Goku is in that same tier. I will say I disagree with the truth slightly. I think they're in the same tier, but like these guys, him and Goku are definitely the best. I don't think there's much discussion. Over time, I could change my mind, but for right now, I do believe Piccolo Jr. is like right up there with the Ter Goku as both of them are like, are like the best TURs in the game. So number one, Orange Piccolo. 
Number two, Piccolo Jr. Both of them are phenomenal. And then at number three, this might be a bit controversial. I don't think a lot of people will be expecting this unit at number three. I think a lot of people will be expecting the next unit on this list. But I don't think you'll expect him as number three. And at number three... I'm thinking about it. Maybe he shouldn't be at number three. Maybe I'll be I'll be honest. Maybe I'm wrong. But at number three, I've got Golden Freezer. Now, obviously, I already knew that this unit would age very well, and so far he has. Now, to be fair, he only came out this year on Global, but he's a quite a few months old on JP now. But as time goes on, this guy will continue to age well because of that damage reduction. The unit is easily one of the best in the game and that's why he's number 3. His damage re reduction is incredible and that will continue to be incredible. This guy is a phenomenal unit simply because his defense is really, really good. Like offensively, he's not the best unit ever but defensively, he is phenomenal, phenomenal and he is definitely in my opinion number 3 on this list. And then at number 4 we've got Cooler, and now these two make for a very good rotation. You put Freezer slot 1, you put Cooler slot 2, and you've got yourself mwah, a beautiful rotation. He'll tank everything and he'll destroy everything offensively. Now obviously Cooler, I think a lot of people overrate the unit, but I also think a lot of people underrate the unit. I think I rate the unit properly, because I think he's not top 10, but he's... Honestly, he's probably not even top 15 anymore, but he's gotta be top 20, right? Like this Cooler, in the entire game of Dokkan. Cooler has got to be a top 20 unit. Maybe not. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's tough to say. But the point is the Cooler is still a very, very good unit. And I think he's worthy of being number 4. I don't think you could move him up. Maybe he's better than Freezer. But he's definitely not better than Piccolo Jr. or Orange Piccolo. So at most, he's number 3. And at worst, he's maybe even number 5. Because if you want to argue STR Piccolo is better than Cooler... I can see it, I'm not gonna lie, but for the sake of the video though, I will give Cooler some respect and I'll put him on number 4. So number 1, Orange Piccolo, number 2, Piccolo Jr., number 3, Golden Freezer, number 4, STR Cooler, and then as you guys just saw, at number 5, we've got a The Boy, STR Piccolo, arguably the best banner unit in the game. I don't think he is the de facto best banner unit, but he's definitely in that conversation. Like, in Chila is probably better than this unit. Actually, no, I take that back because the difference is... This STR Piccolo, like he can be run in a lot of places, whereas with the Inchila, like she's got nowhere to be run. If Inchila had a team, she would be better than STR Piccolo, but overall, I would actually say STR Piccolo is better than Inchila for right now. In the future, that could change, depending on what happens, but right now, I would give it to STR Piccolo. The thing is, Inchila is not even on Piccolo Jr.'s team. So I don't know why I'm discussing her, but the point is Piccolo is a very, very good banner unit. Not only is he the best banner unit, he's the best LR and he's the best TUR. Like Piccolo is on a roll right now and he's the best free-to-play unit. Bro, Piccolo is... And he's, he's about to be the best EZA arguably, bro. Piccolo is getting some massive Ws, well specifically the best TUR EZA. Point is Piccolo has, is getting some major Ws in Dokkan right now. And on Piccolo Jr's team, three of the top five units are Piccolo and two of the top two units are also Piccolo. So yes, Piccolo's team pretty pretty decent now let's go through some honorable mentions because there is a few we'll start off with gifted warriors and as far as the honorable mentions go like i said earlier like piccolo is arguably the best free-to-play unit in the game this easy lr into piccolo demon king piccolo is decent lr full power freezer tech vegeta is the okay i guess um i'll give them the honorable mentions is there anyone in super agl in the turs no one that pops out right away. This freezer over here is definitely worthy of an honorable mention. He's aged really well. If we scroll down, Extreme Tech Freezer, I guess Khalifla is always worthy of the honorable mention. But obviously, with Khalifla, it depends on the enemy. This Transforming Vegeta is definitely up there as an honorable mention. Um, I think back, I think people did overrate this unit, but the unit is still pretty, pretty good. Int Margin Vegeta is definitely worthy of an honorable mention, but not on this team. On this team, Int Margin Vegeta would suck, but if you have Elder Trunks and Vegeta on a team, then Int Margin Vegeta is really, really good. Um, is there anyone in Super Int? If I'm missing anyone, do let me know. Extreme STR, I don't really see anyone. Super STR, STR Piccolo, I've already discussed you. This Piccolo over here is good for the World Tournament. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, I guess, kind of. Anyone in physical, Broly, you should have been so much better, 
but I'll give you an honorable mention, sure. And then Piccolo is about to get his easy A, and then he will probably be one of the best honorable mentions, quite frankly. And next, we'll go to Terrifying Conquerors. Is there anyone here who's worthy of an honorable mention that I've not already discussed? Uh, Ginyu, yeah, I'll definitely give him the honorable mention. STR Cooler, the easy A unit. Um... This LR STR Turles needs an easy A. If we get a brand new Turles, this guy could get an easy A in that celebration and that would be pretty sick. Full power freezer, I already mentioned you. Da, 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 da. All these int LRs, like all of them, are probably worthy of an honorable mention. Maybe not, I don't know, they're all decent. Actually, LR Physical Cooler is right at the top of the honorable mentions. He is so good that I will actually pull him up. Honestly, if you want to argue he's in the top 5, fair enough. Like, somewhere in the top 5. Like, I don't even blame you. Like, he's definitely on that level just because his revive is so easy to get. So I will definitely agree with you. Well, not fully agree, but I would understand if you think LR Physical Cooler is a top 5 unit on Piccolo Jr.'s team. Actually, to be fair, on the actual team, like, LR Physical Cooler has to be top 5. Like, he has to be top 5. He's too good not to be. So yeah, he's definitely on the list. We'll make it a top 6 and not a top 5 to make it easier for me. I think that is all the honorable mentions from here. I don't see anyone there. The Ginyu support units are decent. Uh, Rakum and Guldo and Jason Berta. Um, I don't see anyone else though. STR Nappa, I guess. Rakum and Guldo, I already mentioned them. And then obviously the best unit in the game, Physical Raditz. And then these guys should have been so much better. But I'll give them the honorable mention, I guess. They're a brand new banner unit, so surely... They are at least an honourable mention, I don't know. But well, Radice is obviously the best unit in the game, so we'll give him that. And then on Giant Form, there's no unit here that I've not already discussed. Because the only good units here, realistically, are Piccolo Jr. and Orange Piccolo. And outside of them, there's no other top tier units here. Well, I guess um, AGL Cool is decent, so there is that. Let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys did manage to pull Piccolo Jr., then you have to subscribe, because that is the challenge. With that said... I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, then do subscribe, especially if you just failed that challenge, because that is the challenge, also do leave a like and comment, because those things do help out. With that said, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.